Last night, we uh, had our two traps in the water. We caught 11 in one, four in the other. And I don't know if the camera shows all the crawfish holes in the stream bottom, but I think most of the crawfish are coming from downstream. I think it's more of which trap did they come to they encountered first. There's very few holes on the bank over there. Uh, so up and with this, this bait has been in the water for a week now, almost a week, six days. And uh, the one formula we made about uh, a month ago, the other bait's a year and a half old. Uh, it's been kept at room temperature. Up until this point, we've been using these in the, for a week, 24 hours a day. The bait's holding up tremendously. As you saw last night at the Cola, I've seen no statistical difference between the two formulas. Uh, one night, one would catch seven on one of the three. Another night, it was reversed. Today, we're going to add another variable. We're going to put some salmon in here. Salmon's known to be oily fish, much thicker than our bait. Um, so it's about the same weight, about four ounces of this, four ounces of those other two. And we're going to throw it in. Salmon's known to be very oily fish, so let me get it rigged up in the trap and we'll be back with you. Day one. The salmon. Ooh, is there a fishy? Yeah, the same as ours yesterday, right? Yes. Look, Griffs. That's a red eye, isn't it? I don't know. That's a red eye. We got a fish population down here. There they go. Huh. Hmm. Oh my gosh. How many lobsters are in this place? Oh, these are bigger. <laughs> yeah. One. Two. Wow. Ten. That's a big one too. I swear they sound like they're bigger. Could be. Ten. How about that business? Me. Both of them four ounces. There's that's starting to get awful mushy. Ours is still, you can see, holding up really well. It's thinner, so it's wider. Okay. How do you even get that one out? Ew. Here. Uh. Well, there's one right there in the corner too. Okay. 